Okay, today is January the 22nd, 2017, and right now at 12.52 a.m. in the foothills we have a temperature of 47 degrees. It's uh, lightly raining right now. Uh, we have a relative humidity of 92%. The barometer has risen uh, to 30.03. Now, uh, yesterday at noontime we had a pressure of 29.69 inches all right so now uh, barely uh, you know 24 hours plus another uh, eight uh 32 hours later uh, we have uh 30.03 inches on the barometer uh with supposedly the, the third storm the most intense storm uh, moving into uh, southern california but as we can see what they're doing here uh, here on the western U.S. Uh, rainbow map, the infrared map, we see that storm is actually way up here. It has taken a left turn. It's heading up towards uh, Alaska. What they've done here is they put a transmitter right in this, uh, the core of this, and they've split. There's actually a right angle on this. We can uh, take a better look at this in the uh, water vapor map. And we can see that uh, oblique angle. It's about a 45 degree angle. They're being very careful this season about uh, putting perfect right angles up on, on the uh, satellite for everyone to see. So what they've done is they've we can see that the manipulation is occurring. And uh, what they've done here is they've split this uh, front, this frontal system, away from the core. So we're going to get this uh, patch of rain here. And then, of course, the storm will split off. This will be separated. That's what they're doing here. And we will get uh, what's moving in right here. Now let's take a look at the uh, bigger map here, the uh, Northeast Pacific infrared loop. We can see that the jet stream has been split. Uh, they've got high pressure installed uh, right here. <clears throat> and that has uh, evaporated all the moisture in this flow, which is coming out of the tropics right here along the 20 uh, degree latitude right along here where Hawaii is. Uh, this should be flowing strong right into uh, California. Uh, if we take a look at the, uh, the jet stream map right here, we can see all that flow moving right into uh, California, the entire state, and also a part of Baja, uh, Mexico. So getting back to the big map, we can see that uh, what's happening, uh, a lot of evaporation going on right in here because they've got a transmitter and that is cutting off uh, purposely so the, uh, the, the water supply. You can see that split right here and a lot of outflow right here we see all that outflow that is uh, evaporating all this moisture as it moves in uh, on the jet stream now uh, this system is a, is a, a storm we'll take a look at the uh, surface analysis map here in a second right here and we can see that they've identified this as a rapidly developing hurricane force system right here this is the storm, the center of that storm. And that is moving now up and away to the uh, north, northwest. We still have a lot of lows in here. And they're going to, uh, this is really not accurate because uh, we do have a low here that is uh, moving to the north. They've split this off using a transmitter, as I was just mentioning. This is what they do. This, they're creating a right angle on here with a uh, phased array type transmitter. And that is deliberately cutting the frontal system away from this storm. And that way this will not wrap around. So the storm is now moving away to the north. And we're getting the tail of the moisture field that they split off of that storm. Now if we take a look at the, uh, <clears throat> the IntelliCast Doppler, we see rain. A lot of rain offshore. Um, <clears throat> And there are transmitters at work splitting up this rain. I do not have those prepared right now. I do have several screenshots, but I cannot bring them up right now. Uh, but we had a straight line that that, uh, that was uh, ran all the way through the valley. It was quite amazing. Uh, we had a, a straight line that went right through the entire uh, coastal plain here and all the way out into the mountains and offshore. I'm going to pull that up. I'll bring that up on the next video. I wasn't prepared.
Uh, <clears throat> okay. Now here's the uh, swell report right here. We have uh, 27 foot swells right off of most of uh, California right here from Northern California all the way down to uh, Southern California. So we have some very high waves uh, moving into the uh, west facing beaches and also the uh, southwest facing beaches. All right, let's take a look at these maps. This is the uh, sea level pressure map. We can see the lows up here. And we have a high pressure out here. We have a, another rapidly developing hurricane force system way out over here. Let's take another look at that on the uh, on the uh, surface analysis map here. We can see that right over here. This is a 967 millibar system which is moving to the uh, north what or uh, northeast rapidly intensifying keep an eye on that that's way up here by the Aleutian Islands take another look here the system is way up right up over here and this also has a transmitter we can see that sharp angle right there Okay, so we're getting some uh, moderate rain now, but uh, this is what we're looking at for uh, today and uh, tonight and uh, through the morning hours. And we'll see, uh, this will probably blow through and it'll probably uh, clear up, I would guess, uh, by noontime tomorrow. Uh, we'll just see what happens. This has been chopped up. We can see that. Okay, so that is the uh, report. Let's take a quick look at the MODIS Today map. Uh, this was taken earlier today and we can see the uh, relative clear skies there was chemtrail mix a lot of chemtrails in the skies uh, early this morning and then we had the uh, cloud cover blowing right around uh, noon time and it got uh, overcast progressively overcast until uh, it started to rain a little bit about midnight right now it's about 1 a.m in the morning on the 22nd so we see the chemtrail haze this green, or rather this uh, gray, pardon me, gray, see the difference here? We have the natural clouds over here, this uh, natural white. These are the natural clouds. This is the, These are the genuine clouds. This stuff out here is the uh, gray uh, chemical uh, chemtrail mix, which uh, lowers the uh, relative humidity and caps the atmosphere. So we are getting rain, and of course, uh, if there are chemtrails, if they are spraying, Chemtrails heavily over the uh, region here. We will not get rain. That's been the pattern. And of course, uh, today we see that there's very little chemtrail activity uh, over the uh, over the region. You see right here. Again, this this uh, was taken probably 12 hours ago or more, 14 hours ago. Okay, so that's the report, and uh, we will just leave it right here. <clears throat> we can see that front being split off by this transmitter activity. There's a near right angle generated right here, and that will always split the uh, frontal system away. This is how they weaken the storms, and that's what we're seeing right here. We have another low right up here spinning. There's two. Or, there's three other lows, one here, there's one up here, and one, one right here. Okay, that's it. We'll do another one uh, maybe uh, tomorrow rather tonight uh, on the 22nd. All right, that's it.